What's up guys, it's your boy Ruin, we are back for another Chrono Kiseki video and it is hype fam, it is hype, this is ridiculous, this is insane, this morning's livestream was fire, I missed it cause I was asleep, but it's okay, cause your boy is here now to talk about this, we have got gameplay fam, we have got gameplay for a bunch of characters, talk to me, let's get it, let's do this, let's review it, we've got screenshots of new character reviews, we're gonna discuss that first, after that, we're gonna go character by character, slot them up, and we're gonna just go through the list, down the line, that's the plan, that's what we're doing, let's just get right into this, let's not waste any more time, let's get it, let's go. So first, we have got Ashi and Rui, and she was from that promo art, right, we had, where we had Aron Wei at front and center during, at the Eastern Quarter. She is actually the Onatron for that one kid that's obsessed with Ellie. You know that little boy that thinks he has a shot at Lloyd's waifu, yeah, him? She's actually his Onatron, crazy. And I'm very curious to see what kind of role she's gonna play in this game, as well as what is Vaughn doing here. Vaughn is literally everywhere. This man's is everywhere, he be moving. Next, we have got this man's over here, Gilliam Sondike. This dude's design is pretty dope, and this dude is actually the general manager for MTSC. You know, MTSC, the the the, or, the organization that RyZ is testing uh, equipment for and weapons and that kind of sort. He's the general manager. They hired Ken Narita, and if you're not familiar with that name, look at this, fam. This person voiced Sashomaru in Inuyasha. Okay, thought this is confirmation for Joshua and Kuro, I'm not gonna lie, but this is actually Nina. And she is Judith Senpai in Tomodachi. She is a well-known popular actress. So, I want to know more about her, I want to know more about these two, and I want to know if she has any other roles. So her name over here is Esmeru Orcade, and apparently she's a basal researcher. Clearly looks like a scientist. I mean, she's got the lab coat. She's got a nice little outfit going. She's got the sunglasses. I mean, not sunglasses. She's got the glasses. So, what is her deal? What kind of role is she going to play in terms of technology? Because you got to remember, people. Orbal Revolution. Orbal Revolution. Roy Gramart. What is this man's planning? I, along with that shady group that was revealed during the WebCM, that shady group and this man's, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. What is he planning to do with that company? What is he planning to do within MTSC? What is his plans for uh, Calvert? Especially considering that one little scene in Hajimari, and that's all I'm gonna say. Look at Roy Gramhart's VA people. Are you kidding me? They hired Rikia Koyama. This, this, look at this. Hajime no Ippo. Right here, this one. I'm not even gonna pronounce it because I have no idea how to say it. Yakuza, Yamato from Naruto Shibuden. One Punch Man, Deep Sea King, One Punch Man, Stark from Bleach, dude, like it just feels like this right here, like it just feels a little bit too clunky. Like look, this, I'm not, I don't like that. That I don't like. Like this, is, I'm not a fan. It just, it just, it just takes way too much time. Like I'm, I'm more about, I'm more about going in, going out, I need that speed. So one thing I do find interesting about his stun here, is if we look, right, he's performing that flash, like we saw in that previous review video I did for the other, the quote unquote main parties gameplay, but look at this bar, the bar isn't full, and then it gets depleted. So uh, I guess apparently you don't actually need to fill this bar up, as long as it has, maybe like if it's a full gauge, it will give you more power, and then even after this stun, I'm not a fan. Like, I'm not a fan of his rolling, I'm not a fan of his movements. Those first two hits are fine, but that I'm definitely not a fan of. Like, he's just, he's too little bit, he's too bulky. He's been doing too much bench pressing, too much upper body. He loads up his legs, he jumps into the air with his Ronnie Coleman body looking self. Smashes down heavy, and then, boom. All the rubber gets flying, sent into the air, sent back with his crushing weights. I do like that little detail, but other than that, I'm generally, this, he's not gonna be a main party member for me. And this is kind of cool, I guess. You can really tell that he is a master of martial arts, right, just by that, that movement, the precision. And I'm just, I just, nah, nah, I'm just not, it's not it. Now, Zin, on the other end, is a different story. I am absolutely going to be maining him with this Kakarot self. I am going to be maining him with this Kakarot self, because he seems very dope to me. I cannot wait to finally meet this character. Zin is clean. I love that. And then, boom. I love that. This gameplay right here for the action combat, this looks more along the lines of a game like Xenoblade, for example, as opposed to Yis, right? Because Yis is action combat, but you, you, you basically mash. You essentially mash buttons for your combos, whereas this 
feels like it has a little bit more of combat aspect similar to what you find in Xenoblade, where it has some automaticity, and then you could like you move. Like he tosses up some bullets, and then he does this. That's kind of that's kind of fire. That's kind of clean. Machius wishes he could do this. You know what I'm saying? Machius wish he could do that. And now this right here. This is what I'm very interested in. Right? Right as he's about to, you know, do the thing. We've got this sticking out. He sort of touches it. He pulls on it. He does some sort of maneuver. And then... Hogs it to his chest. Has a little shift. Right? He has a little shift. He shifts out. And then we get these. Now this... Reminds me of Chrono Burst. I'm very fascinated with what this energy stuff is. Like, is this just him? Like, he kicks so fast and strong that he actually causes a ripple in the atmosphere? Like, he's able to just move and that's just wind pressure? Or is he? Is this actual spiritual pressure? A la Getsuko Tensho. Like, what is, what is he doing with his feet? Because again, I didn't play Sky, so I don't know if they explained this or nothing, so I have no idea. But what is that about? Now, this craft, I love this animation. This was so smooth. Like, dude, he just went in, man. He went in, blow for blow. Ooh, come get this work, Zin. You may be an S-Rank brain but you can't match up to me. I'm Ouroboros. I'm society member. I'm an enforcer. Golden Butterfly. The thick, masked problem herself. Don't get, don't get distracted by her plot, fam. Don't get distracted by her plot and her backstory. She is a problem. And I mean, look at this weapon. I believe I remember correctly, it's called a glaive. No, thank you. And we can almost, so close, so close. They're trying to tease us. What is underneath that veil? And then Vaughn, Vaughn, Agnes, Aron, and Fairy are just getting ob obliterated. They're getting cream pied. Absolutely. Vaughn, bust out Grendel. Just bust out Grendel and stop wasting any time, bro. They literally show us her whiffing. Like, what is that? Are you kidding me? So I don't really personally, I'm not too fan of her action combat. Disrespectful. And then that right there is dope. This is dope. How she kind of slices up like that. How she comes up on it. And again, another demonstration of what I was pointing out with Brigard. This blue gauge right here is only like about a quarter filled. But she's still able to utilize the stun. Right there. This right here is still feed. I freaking love that. That right there is literal selfie, and I love that. She cuts them up like vegetables, and then she jumps into the air. Look at this. She jumps into the air. She does an acrobatic backflip. Fee, I didn't know you've been doing gymnastics. I didn't know she's been doing ballerinas and gymnastics all of a sudden. I thought you were just a savage Jaeger princess. What happened to you? You leveled up. You have leveled up. You have enhanced your culture. Let's go. And, and here's a nice little angle right here. Thought this was kind of dope little screenshot. Now, let us go into what is my top three Kuro no Kiseki waifus. And their combats, the three of them, are fire. And we're gonna go in increasing order. Number three, we have got Elaine, the sword maiden. Talk to me, talk to me. She's amazing. She is so divine and elegant, I love it. She literally fits the bill of sword maiden. She is literally a sword maiden. Look at how smooth this is. Poking, you know what I'm saying? Poking. Look at her, look at her. Elegant, divine, not a single move wasted. Not a single move is wasted. She is precise, okay? Her action combat is precise. It's fluid. Like, look at, look at the smoothness. Look at the fluidity of her strikes. Even her movements don't have any wasted energy. Look at this. I love how, she, I just love this. I love that. I like this pose so much, how it starts. And that's, look at that. Look at that aura that just comes out. I love that. This is so fire. That is heat. Oh my goodness. Kuro, turn me up. Y'all are insane. And then this right here. Beautiful. Her second craft just exudes div divinity and just elegancy. It is absolutely breathtaking to watch. First of all, this step, I like how we have this vibrations right here, reflecting on the ground. That's a dope little detail. We got the aura surrounding her body. I love when aura comes out. That spiritual pressure when you can feel and see that Riyasu turn me up. That, oh, that right there. And then she just takes off with the, she flows like water. She actually flows like water. Look at this. 
Look at that. Look at her go. I love that. I love this so much. She is actually dancing around. She actually dances around. And she's just, look at her. Look at this joyous in her, look at this. She's literally just twirling. She's just twirling, dancing, and just she's just fluid with it. I love it. It's so awesome. I li I'm definitely going to be running her. Now for this crap, I'm very interested in seeing what would happen if everybody's in a column, right? Because here they're slightly offset, so meaning that the attack can constantly go through. But if it's like a gigantic, let's say a tank, like a thick tank, thick monster tank that's right in the front, will that attack can constantly go through? Like will it push through that front object and attack everybody and have an AOE effect? Or will that get stopped, essentially? And only that attack will only be effective on that front character. I'm interested in seeing that little detail. This craft right here, I love so much. Like, I can rave a rave how much I love this. Like, she is so smooth. Look at her dance, man. Look at her dance. Look at that. She is by far the character I look forward to the most. Especially in terms of combats. It's not even close. Shizuna Rem Misarugi Himesama. Turn me up. She's lit. She's on it. She is an absolutely smoke demon. She is an icy smoke demon. I love her so much. She's not my number one waifu. I'm saving that for last. But I freaking love her combat, y'all. Like, look at her. Look at her go. Look at that. Look at that. Fire. I love that. That was heat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax, Hime. Hime, relax. My laptop can't actually record this because it's too much fire. And I mean, look at that. Look at her. She, she shrimpoed Byakuya style. She shrimpos Byakuya style and just goes to work with the slice. Look at that. That's This is action combat. This isn't a craft. For Hime-sama and Judith, I'm going to be on my knees for the remainder of this video because I kneel. I kneel for these two. Turn me up. And then you can see right here, right? Gage is not full, but they utilize the stun. And then there you go. She's got the black flip. She's got the moves. She drippy with it. She's saucy. And again, right there. You can see that flash. Depletion in the gauge. So I forgot to... I haven't mentioned this yet, but I actually really like this. How they kind of seamlessly transition into the overworld after the battle ends. And you still have this in the bottom right corner. The main things I love about this is just look at her. First of all, she's got the stance. Her Odachi, by the way. This Odachi right here. I love her Odachi. It is so freaking clean, this blade. I love these little designs on it. You're not going to be able to see that in game, but it looks clean. Her hilt is fire. The hilt of this blade is freaking dope. Look at her. Look at how, look at how happy she is. I freaking love how every time we see Hime, she's always smiling when she's fighting. I freaking love that. Look at this. Look at how happy she is. She's smiling so wildly. She's so joyful and just absolutely loves to clash. And... And this, dude, her, her Helix form is so smooth and cold. Her Helix form is so cold. Look at that. I like how it starts. You can see that little aura and envelope her legs. She's got the body turn. She's got the body turn. She's got the hip movement. I love that. She's got the slashes. She's got the spiral. She's got the Helix form down, man. Kokushu it. Kokushin Itoryu for the win with the Hachio Itoryu elements. She turns and she loads and then she just, dude, she just blasts them to smithereens. Oh my goodness. Absolutely obliterates a cream pie stuff. I freaking love it. I love it so much. Hime's gameplay, I can go on and on about Hime's gameplay. My number one waifu in Kuro, Judith Ranster, all hail the supremest. She could potentially be the number one waifu in the Legend of Heroes IP. Right now, it's Sarah. If you're wondering why it's not baby girl Alyssa, it's because she's with she's Rain's wife. She's off limits. Nobody could do anything with that. Now I'm still like this seems to be. Now this I still find interesting that she has this purple little aura to her strikes. What exactly is the deal with that? Always, always different colors with her attacks. What's up with that? And look at this. Her scratch attack, her scratch attack is going to appear a couple of times and I'm going to talk about why that's so important in a second here. She scratches him up, moves, 
And I just do this overall her gameplay is really nice. I really like her whip This I like what the heck is the deal with this? Like look at that. Oh What is happening to her arm? What is this? Is that is this relative to that special ability that we got to see in the web CM? And this right here And this right here I'm just not even going to talk about it because I will. This video will be hours long if I simped over this. Are you kidding me? I could go on and on. Trust me. Believe me. We've got a cat. We got the claw strikes. We got the scratches. We got the cat on the card. She's kissing it. And the rest we've already saw in the trailer, right? We got to see this now. I I think this actually says something about cooler or something. Now this next craft, I freaking love this craft so so much. Look at her look in her eyes. So I, I believe she's using her whip like as a as an anchor to pull herself. I think her, like I think her whip has some retractability functions. And then just look at this. Look at that right there. Oh, I actually this is my first time seeing that. I didn't notice this until right now. Slowing it down. Look at her arm. Look at her left arm. Right there. And how it transforms. Look at that, fam. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at her, look at that, look at her, look at that right there. Look at her arm, it looks exactly the same. It actually is exactly the same as what we just saw in the craft. Right there, look at that. So I believe that craft actually utilizes this ability of hers. This sort of special power she has. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the exact same as Vaughn's, where she's getting this out of the Zypha Holocore. I don't know how exactly hers is going to work. And then she claws them up, she claws them up and just look at that. This scratch actually covers the entire screen. Let me know what you guys think of uh, all of these gameplays. Let me know what you guys think about everything I said, whatever I showed, all of it. Let me know your guys' opinions. Who do you guys look forward to most as far as character, design, and combat? Who do you guys look forward to most? Let me know in your comments. How are you feeling about Corona Koseki in general? If you're going to get it, if you're going to wait till the English, let me know if you're hyped as well. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, then smash the dang like button. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck with school, work, family, whatever you guys got going on. And it's about to be the weekend a little bit here, so I hope you guys enjoy the weekend as well. Anyways, fam, take care, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.